This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS principles, unit 5, building apps, lesson 9, if, else, if, and conditional logic, puzzle 13. Combining and, and, or. You can express more complex conditions by combining and and or in one statement. Here's an example from the previous page, which you can use as a reference. This statement will evaluate to true if the day is Thursday, Tuesday, and Thursday and their age is 15 or 16. Okay, so yeah, this is an OR operator. So let's say it's Thursday, this is false, but then it says, all right, but is the other side? Oh, nope, it is Thursday, so this is true now. And so that means this whole thing is true. And so now both of these ORs have to be true. So and because and means both sides are true. This first one's true because the second part of the OR is true. And is their age equal to 15 or 16? Let's say they're 16. So age 15 is false. Well, what about 16? 16 is true. So true this is and true this is. So together they're both true, right? If this statement was and here and my age was 16, this being uh, not 15, my age is 16, part of this uh, is false, so the whole thing's false, but it's an or. All right, what are we doing? We've provided starting code, prompt the user to enter the day and their age, result of variables, got it. Okay, so we need an if, we need to tell them to sleep in if they're a teenager, otherwise, uh-oh, you have to wake up. So they're gonna enter a day and their age and stores the results at an if statement that uses both and or operators. So it's going to be a long thing like they have up here. Control, if, uh, we're definitely going to need an else, okay. And then we need, if it's the weekend and the user is a teenager. All right, so math, we're going to need an and. We're going to need an or, Saturday or Sunday. We're going to need another and, because we, for their age. Okay, and do we have, yep, the user is going to enter the day of the week, and that is stored in the variable day. The user will enter their age, stored in age. Okay, now, for day, if the day is equal to Saturday or Sunday, so if day is equal to Saturday day is equal to Sunday okay and then for this side it's going to be less than so if age is less than oh I flipped him again ah. <laughs> control Z control Z C, control Z. I'm just doing undo. Okay, so I want to know if they're a... It would have worked the other way, but for clarity, I like the small number first. So is their age greater than 13? And is their age less than or equal to, both sides are less than or equal to, 19? All right, if it is, what do we want to say? So if it's the weekend and the user's a teenager, write sleep in. So we're going to do set text. Else, otherwise, so no matter what else, if it's not both true. So maybe it's Saturday, but they're not a teenager. Oh, that's a, a adulthood for you. Uh-oh. Have to wake up. I guess I'll write it just like they did, but the grammar is questionable. Okay, let's give that a shot. And so remember, or if either of these are true, this part evaluates to true. And th is this part true? So say we're 97, but it's Sunday. Okay, true and up, nope, false, false. So the whole thing's false, all right? So one of these has to be true and both of these have to be true our age needs to be greater than 13 or equal to it but less than 19. um enter the day of the week i'm gonna say it is sunday 
Okay, and then I'm going to say my age as well, 97. Got, uh-oh, you have to wake up. All right, now let's test it. it. What if it's Saturday, okay, and I am 14? Sleep in, and that's exactly what we would expect. The last final thing I want to show is, let's say it is Monday, but my age is 15. Will it work? It shouldn't. Nope, have to wake up. All right. So this is checking a bunch of things, but it's kind of neat how you can combine the conditions. Let's uh, keep going.